Greeting. Today's topic is the TIA portal programming. At first, we will give brief introduction of totally integrated automation portal, TIA portal. We will discuss the purpose of TIA portal and the program functions of TIA portal. Next, we will introduce five programming languages of PLC. The TIA portal is an integrated design tool for automation industry. In the industrial field, there are more and more machines and devices connect with each other. Also, the operational process become much complex. Therefore, the increasing of processing tools can be a problem of engineering. For this, Siemens provides an all-in-one tool called TIA Portal. With TIA Portal, we can deal with all the automation tasks. The automation tasks can be deal with TIA Portal by loads program functions. Step 7, WinCC, Start Drive, Scout TIA. Step 7 is the engineering tool for controllers and peripherals, like the CPU and other related I.O. devices. WinCC is the software for the visualization and integration of operating devices. Just like the monitor panel for people easily observing the whole systems. Start drive handles the communication between the software and the machine. Scout TIA contains program packages for motion control and the corresponding high-end drives. There are five programming languages of TIA portal. Ladder diagram, LAD, function block diagrams, FBD, graph, structured control language, SCL, statement list, STL. Let's take a look of each of them. The most common one is LAD. The programming structure is like the ladder. The sequence is from top to bottom and the left to right. The horizontal line is called wrong and the vertical line is called rail. The inputs are on the left hand side and the output is on the right hand side. Here's the simple example of LAD. The light is controlled by the two switches. When both two switches are turned on, the light is turned on. In LAD, the switches are inputs and the light is output. We program the two inputs in serial, which means both two switches need to be turned on. Then the output signal can be triggered. Another example is the conveyor belt. There are two control panels located near and remote from the belts. Each panel can start the belts individually. In LAD, the two inputs are parallel in one horizontal line. Each input can trigger output signal individually. Next, the FBD is also a common programming language of PLC. The programming structure is built with function blocks. The sequence is from top to bottom and the left to right. Each block's function is labeled 
on the top of the block. There can be multi inputs on the left of the block, and there's only single output on the right of the block. With FBD, it's easier to follow and troubleshoot the machines. FBD and LAD can convert to each other. For the previous example of LAD, when both two switches are turned on, the light is turned on. We can convert the LAD to FBD's end logic gate. Next example also follow the previous example of LAD. There are two control panels. Each panel can start the bells individually. We can convert the LAD to FBD's OR logic gate. Numerous applications in the manufacturing and process technology can be divided into sequential routines. Flowcharts are commonly used to explain these sequences. With graphs, these flowcharts can be directly translated into sequences. In graph, steps acts as a major function in program. Steps contain the actions that occur when we program them to happen. Transition are the instructions that we use to move from one step to another step by setting conditions. The advantage of graph is that processes can be separated into major steps with branches that can make easier and faster for troubleshooting. SCL is a very powerful tool that can handle complex tasks by utilizing algorithms and mathematical functions along with repetitive tasks. The programming structure is built with high-level language such as program loops or conditional statements. There are many code building blocks and templates to make programming easier. We can just drag the templates to the code. The code blocks of SCL are simpler than the FBD in complex tasks. We can also insert arithmetic expressions or algorithms in the block that can be more clear arranged in SCL. STL is a low-level assembly language. The programming structure is like the instruction list. We can use instructions to control the CPU directly. So, STL is often the quickest way to program PLC code. Performing more complex operations like loops, jumps, and indirect addressing becomes easier in STL. It is really concise and would save a lot of networks. Those are my reference. This is my introduction of TIA Portal. Thank you and see you next time.